Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our Friday Pray Together episode for February 11th, 2022. Thanks for submitting your prayer requests and for joining me here on Fridays to Pray. I hope you realize prayer changes things. It changes things here on planet Earth when we seek the God of heaven and earth, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who is over every action and every circumstance of life. He will act as his people come together in faith and pray for the needs of the saints. We have a number of requests today that we're going to be praying about, some anonymous, some uh, named. And if you have a prayer request that you would like to have submitted for next week's Pray Together episode, you can do so by going to carrygreen.com slash prayer. All right, we start today with a sister who wishes to remain anonymous, and she is going through a breakup, and she took steps to be separated from her boyfriend because he was not a believer, and she is a believer, even though she wants him to come to Christ. And Lord, we are grateful that you have given this young woman the conviction and the clarity regarding this step, and that she has taken it. We praise you, Lord, for this step of obedience, and we ask you to honor her. Because your word tells us very clearly that we are not to be unequally yoked with non-believers. That means in close, intimate relationships. And your argumentation, Lord, for that is that what fellowship does light have with darkness? You say the believer is like light in this world. And we are not to yoke ourselves to someone who is not a believer because they, in the grand scheme of things, are trapped in darkness And we will not have fellowship in that sort of a situation. So I thank you for what this sister has done. I ask you to give her clarity on her decision even today. Enable her to continue in this decision, even though her boyfriend may reach out and want to restore their relationship. Lord, I ask that you would give her the will not to do so and give her the clarity to be able to speak to him exactly why she cannot be back in this relationship, Lord. Show her the passages of Scripture in the book of Corinthians so that she can show them to him. And Lord, may your spirit work in his heart to draw his heart to you through this painful situation. The sister is also asking us to pray for her regarding a choice regarding school and work and her path for the future. She's been praying for a long time and thinks it's becoming more clear where you want her to go. I thank you that for that, Lord, for you uh, guiding your children. And I ask that you'll give her answers to the questions she has that cause her to feel stuck and confused. Lord, break through the anxiety that she describes. Break through her feeling of being lost. I ask you, Lord, to show her your kindness by being near her and by guiding her in this decision. Our brother, Jean Carlo asks us to pray for him. He says he is in the worst place in his life. His wife has left him. He has PTSD, is a veteran, and his financial situation has collapsed. He's a medical student and has lost everything, and he's living on the streets of Denver. But Lord, I'm so encouraged at the end of his request. He says he is clinging on to your word and your faithfulness. Amen, Lord. I pray that Giancarlo or Jean Carlo, whoever he says his name, I pray, Lord, that you would minister to him right where he is, out there on the streets. I pray you would keep him warm, keep him safe, keep him fed. Enable him, Lord, to rebound from this situation, knowing that you are the God of all hope and that you will guide him in each step as he takes action to better his situation and to seek your will. Lord, I pray you would give reprieve from all of the the maladies and tragedies that have come his way. I pray that you would keep him well physically so that he can move in a positive direction and Lord, break him free. Enable him to not be trapped in the emotion and the pain, but rather to move forward for your name's sake, Lord. Lord, I pray for our sister Rachel, who is asking us to pray for her brother, Peter. He is in ICU, has been there for 40 days because of lung damage from covid She is praying for a miracle and for healing. And Lord, we come alongside Peter as well. We ask you, Lord, to touch his body miraculously. Cause the doctors to stop doing anything that is bringing harm or is is preventing him from progressing. And Lord, that you would divinely reach down and heal his body. You do so in a way that makes it evident you are involved. 
and cause Rachel and Peter and the entire family to be so encouraged by your intervention here, Lord. We pray that you would demonstrate your superiority over COVID, that you would demonstrate your superiority over the workings of the body, that you're the craftsman who made it. You're the one who can heal it. We ask you, Jesus, to do that in your name. Roslyn says she needs divine intervention to guide her through the attacks and the the season of transformation that you are taking her through. Lord, I ask that in this time, though she doesn't describe it much, I pray that you would give her peace of mind, that you would give her joy and peace and happiness, knowing that you're with her, that you are faithfully walking her through this course, and that this course, this path you're, you're taking her on is the best one because it's the one you've ordained for her. Lord, she says she needs restoration of some of the blessings of your kingdom, Lord, that are, are missing in her life, Lord. I ask you to bring about the very best for Rosalind. Give her a sense of your presence. Give her a confidence that you're with her and that you see her through the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ. Lord, give her a sense of your presence that will empower her. Lord, our sister Karen asks us to pray just generally regarding people, Christian and non-Christian, who are who are in this world and don't seem to be getting along. Lord, I know what she means on social media and the news and all these different places. We see all kinds of conflict and strife between people. And she wants to see the world become a more peaceful place that people will be filled with love. And Lord, we know the only source of love is you. The scripture tells us God is love. And Lord, those who do not have you as a part of their lives, who have rejected you because of their atheism or their bitterness or their doubt, they have no hope of truly having real love. And Lord, we pray for that reason you would transform their hearts. You would bring about change in the soul of their being and that you would cause your kingdom fruit to be seen in the lives of even the staunchest opponents of your way. And Lord, Karen also is asking us to pray regarding a situation that happened last December 2021, where she and her mom got into a situation that involved the police. And she's asking us to pray for your intervention, Lord, that your her mother would have the charges dropped and that you would resolve the situation according to your will, Lord. I pray in all of this, as Karen does, that you would enable her to have strength and to have a renewed mind as your scripture encourages us to do, Lord. We ask that you would make that a reality in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Pamela is asking us to pray regarding uh, the purchase of some land. I remember praying for Pamela uh, back in the fall. We were praying about some acreage that they were looking at and wanted to buy, but that deal fell through. And Lord, now there is an offer that's been accepted on another acreage that they're wanting to purchase But they're worried uh, that it might fall through because of what happened in the fall. And Lord, I know how the past can sometimes shape how we feel about the present and the future. And I pray you would reveal to Pamela and you would reveal to her husband, I believe, who's involved in this as well, that the past does not determine the future. The past does not dictate anything about the present or the future, Lord. You are working uniquely and according to your wisdom in every circumstance. I pray, Lord, that you would enable them to see your goodness in this situation and that their view of you and who you are would not be hanging on the outcome of this situation, but rather would be hanging on your character as revealed in the scripture. Lord, I ask that you would give them hope in this situation, that everything that needs to happen for this to come about, if it be your will, would happen, including the sale of their current home with no problems. And Lord, I pray that you would enable everything to move according to your will and to open their eyes to be able to see it, be encouraged by it, that the right buyers, the right sellers, the right financing, everything would happen according to your will and that they would be able to see that. Lord, enable them not to be burdened by the stress, not to be uh, taken captive by the worries and difficulties that the situation may provoke, Lord. I pray you give Pamela and her husband rest in you. Our sister Christiane is asking her to pray for her in her struggle against an opiate addiction. She says at the time of submitting this request, she was 20 days, 22 days clean, and she struggles 
with it every day. Lord, I pray you would break Christiane free from the physical addiction, from that compulsion that happens, physically speaking, to go back to the addictive substance, Lord. And I pray in her mind, in her heart, in her emotion, you would heal her. You would bring her relief from the draw toward this. And Lord, that you would make yourself her new addiction. You would make yourself her, her dependency and her, her place of comfort and strength. Her place of, of coping with life would be found in you, Lord. I ask you to enable Christiane to uh, trust you with her daughter, who she says she wants her daughter to be strong enough to, until she can be her mom again. And not just another drug addict. Lord, I pray you would break Christiane free, Lord. That's our prayer. That's our prayer that you would break her free from the bondage that the enemy has constructed for her. Lord, Diana asks us to pray for her mother, Rosa. She is 80 years old and has been in the hospital for the past week. She has fluid in her lungs, kidney problems, and other issues going on related to diabetes. Lord, we ask that you would heal Rosa. Lord, bring about the kind of healing that baffles the doctors, that brings about great awe and wonder as people view what you've done with just eyes of amazement, Lord, and that you would get the glory for this. We pray as well for Diana regarding her husband, Rick. She says he has back problems and has been struggling with this for seven weeks, and he also needs some reconciliation between him and his family. Lord, we ask that you would bring about both of these things by your grace, by your mercy, and that you would sustain Rick, sustain Diana in faith and in hope and in confidence that you are doing good in these situations, Lord. Give them the ability to trust you when it's hard to trust. Lord, we ask you to provide uh, for them everything that they need in this situation. Our sister Rachel is asking us to pray for her grandmother. Uh, she has heart has heart problems for years, and she is in the hospital uh, a few hours away from where Rachel lives, and the doctors don't know what is causing some dizziness that she's experiencing, Lord. We ask you to heal her of this illness, to heal her of the existing heart conditions, Lord. Whatever is going on, we ask that you would show yourself mighty, that you would apply the blood of the cross and the provision for healing that you've, you've uh, purchased, Lord that you would do what is good, what is best, what is just just mind-boggling to us in this situation, Lord. I pray that for Rachel and the rest of her family, you will prepare them for anything that comes of all this. Being a grandmother, she's probably advanced in age, Lord, and there's a possibility that you have just determined it's her time to go, Lord. I pray you give Rachel and the rest of her family the opportunity and the blessing to say their goodbyes if it is her time, Lord. Stephen asks us to pray for a family from where he lives. There was a a man in his early 30s who died a month after finding out that he had cancer and he's left a daughter and a wife behind. Lord, we do ask that you bring comfort and healing to this family. It can be so disorienting, discouraging, disheartening, not knowing why situations like this happen and what your plan is in situations like this. From our human perspective, There's no way we would think that a thing like this is a good thing. But Lord, yet you promise us that for your people, you are doing good in all circumstances. We pray you would bring strength and grace and support for this mother and child who are left. We ask you to give a sense of your presence and that you would be glorified in this, Lord. Draw these two to yourself. Give them a sense of your comfort and your power and your strength in this situation. And Stephen uh, also just wants to express his thanks to you for all you have done for him and his family. Lord, I agree with him. I think situations like the one he's described with his family, uh, losing the dad and the father, uh, the husband, can make us all grateful for what you've done in our lives and make us appreciate those who are, who are part of our family. Lord, we ask that you would bring that sort of gratitude in Stephen's life again and again and again, not just from circumstances like this, but that you would provide a sense of of gratitude all the way around for all you're doing in our lives. Enable us to worship you through our thanks and through our gratitude. Lord, our brother Timothy is asking us to pray for a financial miracle in his life. 
He says he needs $2,000 by the 15th of February, that's just four days from today, to pay off his car loan or he will lose his car and his means of making it to work. He needs this provision in order to care for his family, Lord. I pray that you would provide for Timothy, Lord, by means he is not expecting, by means that show you are the one who provides, you are the one who cares for your people. Lord, and we ask in this situation, you would draw Timothy's heart closer to you, that you would enable him to banish all doubt if he has doubt, Lord, that you would enable him to banish all fear if he has fear, that his anxiety and his worry and his concern about these things, though very understandable, will be driven away when he sees the mighty provision that you have for him as, his, as, as your son, Lord. Please show this side of yourself, this sense of your care for Timothy and for his family, Lord, that it will draw them closer to you. Lord, we have an anonymous sister who is asking us to pray for your guidance and your revelation of your way for her life. She wants to know what she should be doing, how she should be going, and that she can find peace and be fulfilled. Lord, I ask that beyond fulfillment, beyond peace, beyond a a sense of knowledge of where she should be going, you should show her You would show her the clarity of who you are in her life and that she would see you as her treasure, that her connection with you, her desire to to be with you would grow and would drive every moment of her life, that she can be fulfilled in you. She can find her peace in you, that she can trust that every day as she rises to meet with you, to see your face as her most precious treasure. You will guide her step by step. We don't need long-term plans. We don't need uh, long-term vision, Lord, when we know that you are our guide, that you are the one who orchestrates every event and every step, Lord. We ask that you would give her peace and you would give her comfort. And we have a brother named Leo King asks us to pray for him. He says he is struggling with his purpose for life, doesn't even know why he's alive and wants you to reveal that to him. Lord, this kind of disillusionment and disenchantment disenchantment that's been described is very real. Many times, just the circumstances that have happened in our lives cause us to be so discouraged that we begin to question even why we're, we're alive. Lord, I ask that you would reveal to Leo King that you have a purpose that you have a plan. Lord, this person would not still be alive if you did not have a great purpose, a great work to do through their life. And Lord, sometimes great is not on the scale we think of. Sometimes it's simple things. It's small ways that you use this person to bring about blessing and change and honor to yourself in the world. Lord, we ask that you would bring that sort of vision to Leo King. Lord, provide in amazing ways, provide in ways that make all of us just amazed at what you are doing in his life, Lord. I pray that in weeks to come, we will hear from Leo King again, and he will have just a transformative story to tell us because of your goodness. Father, our sister Emerald is asking us to pray for her. She's been severely struggling with the environment, the atmosphere at her place of work. She says there's lots of pessimism and bad attitudes. And she's used to working in a company, her previous job with lovely Christian co-workers who were daily a source of encouragement. And, and this job, which she had to take on because of COVID just is so different. And she needs to figure out if she should be content or simply leave the job. Lord, we ask that you would give Emerald one of two things, Lord, that come to my mind. Either provide a new opportunity, a new job that is a better environment for her, or Lord, transform her way of thinking so that she sees herself as the light in the darkness. And that through that recognition, you would empower her to be the one who brings about change. Not in preachy, condemning, judgmental ways, but Lord, through love, through grace, through blessing, through service, through all those things that Jesus did when he came to the earth. Lord, show her how to be the light there if that's what you have for her. Lord, we pray it in Jesus' name. We have another anonymous sister who says she has been struggling with showing empathy and humility toward her husband's sister's family. 
and toward her husband's father, her extended family. Lord, she says she's never struggled so much like this before. And she just does not like to be around them, Lord. And even when she is around them, she feels like her body language and maybe her facial expressions show that she doesn't want to be there. Lord, I ask along with her as she's asking that your heart for these people would soften her heart. Your desire for them to be drawn to you would melt her hardness toward them. And Lord, reveal to her, show her how they are victims of the enemy of their souls, how the devil is struggling and fighting and waging war against them to keep them trapped in these habits or whatever it is that that cause her to not want to be with them. Lord, I pray you would enable her to be a conqueror in this, that she would overcome, that she would be the one to show the grace of God to show the kindness of God, even to those who don't deserve it, even to those who are unlovable or unloving. Lord, you show kindness and graciousness to those who are ungrateful and to those who are undeserving. We pray this sister would be able to do the same thing, Lord. Work this transformation. Work this amazing miracle. Lord Derek asks us very simply to pray for his family, his marriage, his health, and that he would be able to find a great job. Lord, I ask that you would provide for Derek in every way that he needs. Lord, there's lots of things on our hearts any given moment of any day. But Derek is mentioning the ones that are probably the most pressing and the ones that matter the most to us. So Lord, I pray his family and his marriage would be rooted on you and on your truth. I pray that you would give him the vision as the leader in his family to be powerful in spiritual growth and in spiritual health. And Lord, that his family would th- would thrive because of his leadership, that you'd show him how to lead the way, how to take initiative in ways that bring about that health. Lord, I pray that you bring about physical health for them, that you'd show them your goodness in that way, and that you would lead Derek in his employment to provide for his family and to be able to be a blessing to his employer and the people he serves as customers or clients. Lord, enable him to be the one who represents you well in this situation and brings about great uh, light in a dark place. Lord, we have an anonymous sister who's asking us to pray for her financial needs. There's a lot of uh, frustration that she's feeling regarding her ex-husband and the relationship there and how it affects her financially and and the relationships with the kids. There's just all kinds of things here that need your divine intervention. Lord, we pray for this sister that you would provide for her financially. That you would show her your goodness You would show her your love and concern for her and open her eyes to see it. Open her eyes to feel it so that she can move and walk and live in the truth of your love and care for her. But Lord, also give her a heart and, and, and desire to steer away from focusing on the negative things. I know that they pop up every day. I know there are things that, that just can't be overlooked very easily. But Lord, I ask you to put her eyes on you to put her heart oriented toward you and to let her ex-husband and the other things go, to leave him in your hands, Lord, to not hold resentment, not hold bitterness, not hold anger, but to let go of it all. And in Jesus' name, to walk in holiness with joy and with delight and with a sense of gratitude that you've called her to yourself, Lord. Enable her to live in the light of your presence day after day after day. Lord, our brother Dustin is asking us to pray for him regarding an addiction he has to pornography. He says he's had this struggle his whole life, and now he's 53 years old, and he sees you working in this area. Amen, Lord. Break him free. Set the captive free, Lord. I pray that you would liberate him in his mind. You would liberate him in his compulsions. You'd liberate him in his heart. You'd enable him to see what a new creation he is. And how antithetical to that truth the the pornography addiction is. Lord, he also says that he sees how this has impacted his relationship with his wife. Lord, I pray that you would enable Dustin to fully lean on the Holy Spirit when temptation comes. I pray that you would give him an ability to see you as his greatest treasure rather than anything else, temptation and pornography included. I pray, Lord, that you would enable him to walk in the reality of the righteousness you've imputed to him through Jesus. You would enable him to 
see the truth of who he is in your eyes and to live according to that truth, Lord. Give him the eyes to see that he's a son of the King of Kings and it's beneath him to stoop to the level of pornography, Lord. Show him how his position in Christ can liberate him from this tragic, tragic addiction, Lord. We pray you would set him free in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Paula asks us to pray for her son. Uh, He is in a mental health division of a jail where he is being held, and they've diagnosed him to be bipolar. Lord, we know that bipolar is a physical condition, something that happens in the brain. But Lord, we also know you are a healer of physical conditions. Amen, Lord. You can bring about change in this. So we pray you would bring healing to his brain, bring healing to his mind. Lord, I ask that you would draw him near to yourself and that somehow there in the jail, you would surround him with godly men. They may be sheriff's deputies. They may be uh, policemen. They may be uh, chaplains who come in. Lord, whoever they are, surround them with godly men who can find him and help him, grow him in his faith, help him to move towards you in faith, Lord. Paula says they love him and miss him so much and haven't been able to see him yet, but they want to. Lord, I pray you'd open the doors for them to be able to visit their son and to be an encouragement to him there. Lord, she also asks us to pray for safety and peace and to give them answers to how they can help him. It sounds like they're a distance away. So Lord, I know that could be hard. I ask you to give them wisdom and guidance in all of these things. It's in your name we pray, Lord. Lord, our sister Zoreda asks us to pray for her brother who is facing multiple drug charges. Lord, we ask that you would set him free from his addiction, that you would use this circumstance of of justice, this situation of, of legal proceedings to break his heart, to draw him to a place of repentance, to grant him the repentance needed to turn his life around as he turns it over to you. Lord Zoreda is also asking us to pray for her. She has recently left her job and is asking you to bring blessing over her business. Lord, it sounds like she's begun a venture of her own. Lord, I ask that you give her wisdom and insight and how to serve people well, whether it's through products or services or whatever she's doing, give her the ability to serve people well, to put the customer first, to love them, and to provide for them in a way that's loving, Lord. Bring success to her job. Bring her the ability to provide for herself. And Lord, she also wants to be a great leader who can impact others' lives in a positive way. Lord, we know that the most positive way is through faith in Jesus Christ and through the proclamation of the truths that you have revealed to us in the scripture. I pray that Zoreta's life would be that testimony and would be that proclamation. I pray that she would demonstrate and speak when necessary the things that will guide people toward greater connection with you, Lord. I ask you to bring this about in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Candy is asking us to pray regarding a possible mass that she has found in one of her breasts during a mammogram. And on Monday, this coming Monday, the 14th, she goes back for an ultrasound and a further exam to to diagnose if that's really what's happening, Lord. We pray. We pray in Jesus' name, no mass would be found, that this would be a, a wrong reading, this would be an incorrect diagnosis, and that by your grace, Candy would be encouraged with your provision of health and strength. Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Trini is asking us to pray regarding a clinic that she works at uh, that serves the Hawaiian Islands through speech therapy and occupational therapy over the last 14 years, Lord. They have lost one of their biggest contracts. 90% of their business has decided not to use their service anymore. And Lord, I, I know that's got to be just devastating on a number of levels. For them, for their patients, for those that they serve, Lord, we ask that you would open the doors to how they can continue to serve in a circumstance like this, how they can recuperate from such a loss, and how they can rebuild their business in a way that is not so dependent on one client, one customer. Lord, we ask that you would enable them to continue serving those they serve well and to do so with power and strength and freedom, Lord. Show them how to do it with wisdom and Lord, to bless them in their ability to serve their community, Lord. 
Make this all a testimony of your great deliverance, a testimony of your plans, which are wiser than ours and how they often don't look like what we think they should look like. Lord, give Trini and her co-workers the ability to trust in you during this difficult time. Lord, our sister Ben Rose is asking us to pray for a sister from their church who has passed away and her family. She said the prayer really is specifically for this woman's son, that God would comfort him during this time and that you would uh, provide for him in every way that he needs during this time of his life. Lord, grief, and especially the loss of a parent, is a difficult thing. It's hard to bear. It's, it's difficult to, to shoulder, especially if this, if this son is young. Lord, we ask that you would surround him with people who can guide him towards you instead of uh, the temptation that the bitterness might present for him to turn away from you. Lord, I ask that you would enable him to to be an open heart to you at this time. You would draw him to yourself. You'd give him a sense of your presence that draws him in. Lord, Ben Rose is always ask, also asking us to pray for healing for her mother. She's been suffering from fibroids for the past five years, and there's an operation that could bring about some healing and some comfort, but it's too expensive for them. Lord, we ask that you would just bring healing. We know you can do that. We ask that you would in Jesus' name. Lord, but we also pray that if you want to bring about that healing through this surgery, you would provide financially for it to happen. Do it in amazing ways, Lord. Provide in ways that are are beyond comprehension. So Ben Rose and her mother and all these people that are involved would be blessed by your miraculous provision and see you for the great and generous God that you are. Our sister Sherry is asking for healing from addiction for her daughter, and healing from mental health issues that our daughter is suffering from. Lord, we do ask, along with our sister, that you'd bring about the healing that's needed here, Lord. Our bodies and our our psyche is just racked with the effects of sin at times, Lord. And I know that it is such a burden to this family. We pray you bring your comfort in the midst of the process, that you bring a sense of your, your healing power to Sherry's daughter into the situation so that everyone can see with eyes of faith, the hope that you're bringing into their circumstance. Lord Cherry is asking also for strength for however you want to use she and her husband in their grandchildren's lives, that they would be able to provide peace and hope and power that only comes from you so that these children can know the truth of Christ and that they would be protected from and diverted away from the lies of the world that are so prevalent. Lord, I ask that you would use these grandparents, use their hearts for their grandchildren, for your glory and for for your good work in their lives. And Lord, we pray also with Sherry and with her husband that their son and daughter-in-law would be brought to a place of salvation, Lord. Show them the price you've paid for the forgiveness of their sins. Show them the transformation you can bring about in their lives by making them new creations and give them hearts that are hungry for that in their own lives, Lord. Give them salvation, we pray in Jesus' name. Lord, our brother Ethan is again rejoicing and we rejoice with him that he and his wife have been blessed with a baby. It's their 11th week since they've uh, discovered that they were pregnant and the testing has all come back with nothing wrong with the baby. They have a healthy baby boy. Lord, praise you for this child in the womb who's growing, this little man, this little boy. Thank you, Lord for the blessing of health and for conception and for for a child here, Lord. Ethan and his wife are asking that you would continue to keep her healthy so that this baby can grow in health and continue to grow. Lord, we pray you continue to work in Ethan and his wife's lives, that their marriage would be strong, that they would be growing in knowledge and in wisdom of you, that they can be the parents that they need and, and want to be. Lord, I also pray along with Ethan, Ethan, that you would guide the leaders, both of the United States and the world, to make decisions that are wise for the future, Lord. And there are so many things going on all over the world. So much uh, contention, so much strife, so much political jockeying for position. Lord, we pray that you you would bring judgment on the wicked, that you would frustrate their ways and you would destroy their plans but that you would prosper the righteous. 
And Lord, that you would show your divine sovereignty over the rulers of this world. You say you are the ruler of the kings of the world in the book of Revelation, Lord. We ask that you would demonstrate that rulership through just entirely turning situations on their head. Lord, what's going on over in the Ukraine right now? We pray you would just come through in a way nobody saw coming, that you would bring peace out of nowhere, that you would bring resolution, Lord, that the situations between China and Russia that seem so uh, threatening to the rest of the world, Lord, you would just dispel. You would, you would dissipate all of the jockeying and all of the planning that men are doing and frustrate their plans, Lord, for the blessing and the glory of your kingdom and your people. Lord, I want to pray as well for the ministry of the morning mindset. You continue to grow it and prosper it. Lord, I'm just staggered that in the last few days, we've seen 90,000 times the audio has been downloaded. The daily episodes are being downloaded at the very least a thousand times the very first day that they're published. Lord, thank you for spreading your word. Continue to spread it across the globe, Lord. Continue to spread it and to make your word powerful in the hearts of your people six minutes at a time every morning. And Lord, I pray too that you give us vision and direction regarding future projects. I'm considering uh, some other audio projects, considering some video projects, but Lord, I, I need to know how to go about those with the limited time that I have. And I, I need to know, Lord, if I should be pursuing this on more of a full-time basis. And if so, how to make that happen, how to uh, get my other business running uh, smoothly without me involved as much. And Lord, I just want to do what you want me to do. I want to see this ministry grow according to your plan. And so, Lord, just guide me in that plan day by day, step by step. Continue to bless. Continue to, to bring generous donors to the needs over at Not a Needy Person. Enable the people who submit their needs to be blessed beyond comprehension. That their lives would receive a blessing that that is a pivotal moment in their lives. And they would they would turn to greater faith in you. Their lives would be moving in a different direction on a new trajectory because of the great blessing of others who are a part of the body of Christ, generously blessing them in their time of need. Lord, bring it about in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, once again, thank you for praying with me today. If you have a request you would like to include in next week's episode, please go to kerrygreen.com slash prayer. You should see that link in the description for this episode. You can go there, submit your request, and we would be happy to include it in our next Pray Together episode. Friends, let's pray together again very soon.